folks, this statement is a few days old now, but I still felt like it was important to talk about. It is Buccaneers head coach Todd Bowles' statement on the hiring of Dave Canales as the team's offensive coordinator. If we go ahead and take a look at the statement here, it reads as follows. We are excited to announce Dave Canales as our new offensive coordinator. I want to thank the various candidates that we interviewed throughout this very thorough process. We'll talk about that in a moment. Dave has done a great job in a variety of roles with Seattle the past 13 years and brings a passion for coaching and an energy level that players just seem to respond to. He has played a significant part in the development and growth of many Seahawks players who have contributed to their offensive success over the past past decade and I look forward to seeing what he will do with our players on offense. The more we talked, the more it became apparent that we are very similar in how we approach the game and I'm confident that he will find a way to maximize our strengths on offense. So there's a few things I want to break down here in this statement from Todd Bowles. First things first, yeah, this was a very, very thorough process to find their next offensive coordinator, and there was a lot of ups and a lot of downs. The ups being they eventually hired a guy in Dave Canales, but the downs being that there were a lot of hoops to jump through for the Buccaneers. Dan Pitcher, they interviewed him twice for the position. He eventually declined to stay with the Cincinnati Bengals. He was given a contract extension to stay with them. Todd Bowles was also figured, or not Todd Bowles, Todd Munkin was also figured to be a significant candidate for them, one of the top candidates for the job. He seemingly turned them down, or I guess I should say did turn them down, to go join the Baltimore Ravens as their new offensive coordinator. And I believe there were 10 total candidates interviewed here by the Buccaneers. That's a pretty darn significant amount, and it just goes to show that the lengths the Bucks had to go through to figure out the right guy for the job. Was Dave Canales their first option? No, not at the end of the day. There were other guys who were considered, like Dan Pitcher, like Todd Munkin, but Dave Canales, I still feel, is a very solid hire. And there were still a couple of significant candidates out there who could have also been good positions for this job. Thomas Brown of the LA Rams, I feel, was a pretty significant candidate there at the end. He got two interviews with the Buccaneers before they decided to go with Dave Canales. The team wanted to make sure that they got the right guy for the job, which is why this was such a thorough process. But Todd Bowles does speak on it here, the jobs, the many hats that Dave Canales has had to wear over there in Seattle. He has worked with wide receivers, he has worked with quarterbacks, he's been the passing game coordinator, he's done a lot over there under Pete Carroll, which in my opinion is a good thing. You want a guy that has a lot of different experiences, working with a lot of different types of groups, and Dave Canales has done just that, I feel, to great success. Todd Bull talked on it in this statement as well, that Seattle's had some pretty good offensive success in the most recent decade, the 2010s, even going into the 2020s now, Seattle has had some good offenses, and Dave Canales has been a part of why those offenses have been successful. You've seen the quarterback success with Russell Wilson and with Geno Smith. You've seen the wide receiver success with guys like DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, some of the other wide receivers that they have had back in there in the 2010s and in the 2020s as well. Guys have shown very good ability with this Seahawks offense, and when they leave, they aren't as good. Not even just in situations like Russell Wilson. I remember Paul Richardson was a big free agent signing coming out of Seattle, going over to the Washington football team, the Washington Commanders, and he was not as successful there. He flamed out pretty darn quickly over there. A guy like Golden Tate possibly wasn't the same guy after he had left Seattle. And some of the names can just continue to go on and on with some of those guys who leave that Seattle offensive system and don't have as much success around other teams in the league. So I feel that that is significant. I feel that that is something that is worth noting. But also, Bulls speaks to it here. Dave Canales has a lot of energy, which I feel is going to be a pretty good foil to Bulls and what his demeanor is as a coach. You're going to have some different energy levels with Dave Canales, which definitely may inject some energy and some juice into this offense going forward. But 
one thing that really does stand out to me the most in this statement is the ending here. The more we talked, the more it became apparent that we are very similar in how we approach the game. Now, what does that mean? Does that mean that they both see eye to eye just in terms of energy levels and things along those lines and both approach the game the same way? Or is it more of an idea of Dave Canales has a better understanding of what Todd Bowles wants out of this offense. I definitely think it is more of an understanding of Dave Canales is going to come in and understand, hey, let's run the football more. Yes, maximize our maximize our strengths on offense using guys like Mike Evans, using guys like Chris Godwin. That is going to be a given, but also finding balance. That was something that Todd Bowles was screaming for. Well, as much as Todd Bowles can do that throughout this last season, just hoping for more balance in this offense using the running game that, yes, didn't have success throughout pretty much the entirety of the year, but it never really got the chance to because it never got going. And now with Dave Canales coming in with Byron Leftwich being gone, who just point blank refused to put more balance into this Buccaneers offense with Dave Canales coming in now, you are probably, I would say it's very likely, you're going to see more of that balance. You're going to see more of what Todd Bowles wants to see in the offense, which is a more balanced approach, especially given that Tom Brady is not your quarterback anymore. Be it Kyle Trask, be it a veteran, be it whoever they want to bring in, there has to be more balance because you can't rely on just a strict, let's throw it 35, 40 times a game style of offense. Yes, it's still a passing league at the end of the day in the NFL, but you need to have more balance just to give guys a break and just find more success on offense in different ways. And I think with Dave Canales here, that's what you're going to see. And it definitely seems like Todd Bowles agrees with that or definitely feels the same way regarding this hire. But that's Todd Bowles initial statement here on the hiring of Dave Canales. I believe we will hear from Canales via a press conference sometime later on this week. So definitely stay tuned for a video along those lines as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope y'all enjoyed. And as always, folks, I'll see you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.